you screwed up, didn't you? Every year, there are close to 1.5 million engineers graduating from various engineering colleges all over India. And less than 10% actually end up getting a job anywhere, whether it be a chemical factory or a very, very mass hiring firm like TCS or Wipro. And less than 1% of these people actually end up getting a really well-paying job at a top company. And out of these top 1% of people, only a selected few people who are in computer science or electrical from these top colleges actually end up getting packages which are more 20 lakhs or more than that. So how do you get to that level? And how do you prepare yourself in such a manner that you can crack an amazing college and an amazing branch? You screwed up your first year in J means, and that's fine. I did too. Everybody does. Screwing up is a part of life. So what can you do next? So my first attempt in G-Means, it did not go well at all. I was crying through and throughout while coming out from G-Means the first attempt. But in my second attempt, I got more than 99.3 percentile and at the same time, I got close 340 out of 415 with that as well. So how did that change happen and what do you need to focus on after your first attempt in G-Means so that you can ace BitSat and G-Means part 2? That's what we'll be talking about in this video. So make sure to watch till the very end. Make sure to subscribe to the channel as well. We have started a brand new community for you guys so that you guys have the right mentors. My batchmates who studied from top colleges like IITs and BITS will be there to mentor all of you. And at the same time, you'll have your own peers, people who will be writing G means this year and BITSAT this year. They'll be here along with you, practicing questions, clearing their doubts as well. So make sure to look at the form in the description so that you guys understand what the competition is like and what you need to prepare from your peers as well. Let's just get started in the video. Your first attempt in J means is over. Now you have to focus on three different things. First is BITSAT. The second one is board exams. The third one is J mean. So depending on your preparation level, you need to analyze what are you going to do well in. If you are someone who is preparing for board exams and you are trying to get into a local university based on your state level rankings, suppose they say there are, come, there are universities in Tamil Nadu like Anna University or Tyagaraja University or MIT Chrome Pit, which take people based on their board exam scores. And then there are the second level of people who prepare for JE mains in second attempt so that they can get into an NIT in their state because home state quota is very very useful and they can get some decent branches over there or are you someone who's going to target top NITs and top branches like any Trichy computer science, any Suratul computer science or are you going to ace that or are you someone who's interested in getting to BITS BITS planning campuses which offer amazing programs of 4 years and integrated maths, integrated dual degree programs so what are you going to do? What, what path should you choose? we'll be discussing that in this video and irrespective of whatever path you choose you have to realize that NCRT is the bread and butter of all these three exams. Whatever you do, make sure you don't miss out on studying the 11th standard and 12th standard NCRT for chemistry and physics at least. Because many of the topics in NCRT are extremely identical with the syllabus in BITSAT and G. Given that you have some amount of time before the next day mains attempt and BITSAT, it's important for you to analyze your mistakes. See that what chapters are you weak in. Are you weak in certain very very important chapters which are very easy like vectors and 3D geometry or chemical bonding or coordination compounds or are you weak in certain topics in physics like mechanics, conservation momentum, work energy power where you can get a lot of marks very easily. I'll be breaking down some of the chapters which are very important for you in BITSAT and J mains. Let's start from chemistry. Chemistry mein nahi Chemistry में क्या होगा? Static hindrance आ जाएगा. कम पड़ा तो resonance, inductive effect सब लग जाएगा. कुछ भी हो सकता है यार यहाँ. कुछ भी हो सकता है. Color. In inorganic chemistry, make sure you don't miss out on p-block elements. These are very very important chapters in p-block element because it's very extensive and at the same time there will be a lot of questions which you can be asked from NCRT. So make sure to capitalize on this. Other chapters in chemistry include chemical equilibrium, atomic structure, chemical bonding, coordination compounds, general organic chemistry, hydrocarbons, 
I'll call it the phenol. These are some of the chapters that you need to focus on so that you can maximize your score in chemistry. I've chosen these chapters in such a way that you don't have to spend too much of effort in them because they are clearly not the hardest chapters like ionic equilibrium. Get the physics. It's important for you to understand the basics in physics like kinematics and loss of motion in vectors so that the rest of mechanics becomes very easy for you. Chapters like conservation of momentum and work power energy, you'll find direct application based questions. You're gonna skip typical chapters in rotation mechanics at this point of time. That is absolutely fine. Because if you don't have the bandwidth to prepare difficult chapters, it is understandable because everybody has weak chapters and you can't expect to master every chapter at least at this point of time. So make sure to double down on your strengths. And here are some of the important chapters that you need to focus on. Gravitation, waves, thermodynamics, modern physics, electrostatics, and EMI. Why am I saying EMI? Because you'll find very straightforward formula-based questions in EMI which includes differentiating the flux with respect to time so that you can get the voltage. And these, these type of questions where you can easily get the answer by applying formulas and doesn't require a lot of bandwidth in terms of understanding what is actually happening. And this is going to be very beneficial for you, at least at this point of time, because you don't have the time to deep, dig deep into the concepts and understand everything from scratch because exams are very, very good. Let's get to the topic which everybody is scared of just mathematics. Mathematics is something that everybody fears because it is generally time consuming. Difficult questions come out of this. But I've chosen these chapters in such a way that these chapters are neither way too difficult, but at the same time you'll find a lot of important questions in these chapters as well. So let's start off with arithmetic progression, geometry progression and harmonic progression, which is one of the very easiest chapters that you'll be learning in the beginning of 11th standard. At the same time, you need to focus on coordinate, coordinate geometry as well. Because quantum geometry questions like straight line and parabola, there's a lot of formula based questions which come from that. At the same time, even chapters like circles, which you might think there are a lot of complex questions which can be framed from it. But at the same time, if you have a basic understanding of different formulas like t is equal to s1, so having an understanding of these concepts will really help you a lot. And if you have enough time, make sure to practice SL Loni because quantum geometry with SL Loni is going to be very, very important for you especially if you're targeting iit and make sure to focus on complex numbers and binomial theorem in algebra because you'll find questions from complex numbers and binomial theorem all the time and these chapters if you have a basic understanding of rotation of vectors and if you have an understanding of formulas and binomial theorem there's not many ways in which the questions can be twisted so make sure to understand that and capitalize on that and at the same time, my favorite topic is vectors and 3D geometry because I got so many marks in Bitsad and G means just by studying this one chapter. So we are coming to the conclusive part of the video, which is I have mentioned the chapter wise distribution. I have mentioned what are the chapters you need to focus on. At the same time, another thing that you need to do is you need to find out what questions bothered you in the first attempt of G means and you need to practice questions from that. Take all the papers of J means, start practicing and start solving them one by one. Make sure that you analyze your mistakes and learn from them. At the same time, now it's very important for you to have a great community of people around you. You need to find people who are like-minded, people who can help you out, people who are ready to help you and learn from you and you can help them out as well. So I think now is going to be a very, very crucial time for you to find the right amount of people, right people. So this is why we have created a community with JE and with our aspirants. So make sure to join the link in the description because this is going to be very, very pivotal for you. We are going to learn a lot from this and uh, we will be learning together and helping you out with amazing mentors who have already studied in institutions like IITs and WITS and IIT. So make sure to join the community and learn from all of us. I'll see you guys. Bye bye. Focus cross karoge to tum mirror mein jaoge. अगर फोकस नहीं क्रॉस कर पाए तो भी कुछ बदला क्या तुम्हारा साइज तुम्हारी इमेज तुमसे कहीं ज्यादा बड़ी हो चुकी है दुनिया को तुम इतनी दिखो पर तुम्हारा कद काफी बड़ा हो चुका है जो कभी पास ही नहीं है उनके कद छोटे रह गए Give it a stage in a minute, I'ma eat you Hell, professor is in the house, let me teach you I could defeat you with two hands tied And have you waking in the hospital like who am I?